I thought we'd uh, we'd try it from this angle today. The the light's not brilliant in this room. I do need to get some new lights, and um, so I thought maybe coming from this side of the room, it might might look a bit better. Let me know what you think and if it's if it does work. Anyway, hello and welcome. I'm Emma, and this is the Ten Minute Quilter. Nice of you to join me. Quilt of the week this week. Might notice when we missed a week last week, um, I was working a lot and, and life just took out, took hold really. I, I can't guarantee that I will do a quilt of the week every week. I, I cannot keep up finishing one quilt a week at the moment, not with everything else that's going on. So um, we'll, just, we'll just keep going as we are and see how we get on, shall we? Anyway, quilt of the week this week is the Granny Square quilt. Now, just as a quick disclaimer, full transparency, this is not actually my my quilt. Well, it it's a bit about it. It's anyway. I teach clubs and classes in my local quilt shop, and we did this blog in a club session one day. And one of my lovely ladies, Jack, went away and made all of these quilt blocks, and was then downsizing and was getting rid of them. So I said, okay. Give them to me and I'll make a charity quilt with them, which is what I've done. So I've trimmed what wasn't trimmed, I've trimmed, I've put together, I've quilted and I've finished. So it's a little bit of a mixture, really. But um, so this is the granny square block. This is a block that is meant to replicate a crocheted granny square. And I will put a, a photo in somewhere so that you can see what it what they look like. And this is a block that was made using leftover jelly roll strips which was what we were aiming to do use some, some scrap fabric and it's great for that because you you know depending where you place your your colors you only sometimes need well obviously just one you only need four of those so you you get the picture it's great for using up those leftovers and you could make these using any size square that you want really I think I, I quite fancy having to go with slightly, a slightly larger one um, but the, like I say these are two and a half inches now I did think about doing a tutorial for it tutorial tutorial you know when, you know when you say a word and it just doesn't, doesn't sound right tutorial it's the right word isn't it anyway I was going to do one of those for it but to be perfectly honest, there are quite a few on the YouTube already. So what I will do is I'll put a link down below with a couple of links to, to said videos. So if you fancy having a go, you can. But it's a nice simple block. You just, you I would recommend that you definitely lay it out on the table in front of you because it's very easy to get confused. But you lay it out and then all you do is sew the squares together into rows and then once you've done that and pressed them, you can just join the rows together. So it's, it's nice and simple. You will notice that you end up with a block that's got odd shapes around it because you do need to now trim that down. So you would then rotate it round and using a square or, or a straight ruler, you would trim off those, those edges like so and you will end up with a, a little block that looks something like that. Um, so it is a little wasteful because you um, you trim off and you end up with you know trimming off at those little corners. Um, you could if you wanted to cut a larger square and then cut it into four triangles to place in these edges here. Um, which would do away with our next problem, which of course is that by trimming this away, we've now ended up with a block that has the complete outside all on bias edges, which is not always a good thing, is it really, let's face it. Um, so if you were to do the square and cut the triangles up beforehand, it would, it would eliminate that, that bias problem, but this is, is obviously quite quick. But it does mean that you have to handle the block a little bit more carefully after you've trimmed it. Now, some of these, some of the blocks um, had been trimmed. I trimmed the rest, so it can be a little bit wavy to put together if you're not careful. 
Um, but it's, I think it's a really effective, a really effective quilt. And I think when I'll put some full pictures in, I think you can see it looks, I think it looks lovely actually. Um, so she had two sets, uh, one with the navy background and one with this sort of grey lilac -y. It is, it is sort of a lilac colour really, um, background in these. The, the dark blue together was not enough, was not big enough for the purpose that I wanted it. So I, I ended up putting a row of the, the other squares on each side of it, just to make it bigger. This is a charity quilt that is going to a charity that provides quilts for young people who are leaving the care system at the age of 16. And once they are over that age limit, there is very little support for them. So this is a specific size quilt because it wants to be long and thin so that it can be wrapped around the person. And so it's like enveloping them in a hug almost. Um, so I had to use some of the extra blocks to, to go top and bottom. These were then framed with this purple and I then bound it in the purple to just try and tie it all together. It's quilted with an aurifil thread which is, I, I thought it was a grey when I picked it up initially but it's actually like a mauvey heather type colour. I've used it on a couple of quilts now and I actually really like it. It's fast becoming a very favourite colour of mine. And I did it in a, a sort of a swirly chrysanthemum flower, that's the technical term, quilt pattern. Um, free hand on, free motion on, on the frame and um, I really enjoyed it actually. It was a nice, nice easy pleasant little quilt pattern to do so I quite enjoyed it. I finished it in a slightly different manner for me. Um, this is a this is a, a fabric out of my stash which again was trying to keep in, in keeping with the, the quilt pattern, the flowers. This has got to be at least maybe 20, 20 years old maybe. But um, I bound it, um, I normally Put it on the front and then turn and hand stitch to the back. This one was put on the back by machine, turned to the front and then I pressed it and then I just edge stitch thread there, edge stitched it down from the front. So it's it's machine bound all the way round, which is a new thing for me, um, and it's something that I would like to try and get a little bit better at. So um, so I'll keep doing those. And um, that I was really pleased with it when it's finished actually. I think it's lovely and I hope that some young person will love it and cherish it. Um, yeah, let's hope so anyway. So they, there will not probably be a quilter of the week for a couple of weeks, mainly because, oh, dumped to hear, when, when I left the festival of Festival of Quilts in Birmingham last year, I said to myself, I'm going to enter a quilt next year. So I've done it. The only trouble is, it's got to be in in a couple of weeks and I haven't started quilting it yet. I'm just get cracking on that one, hadn't I? What was I thinking? Uh, so I will record it and document the process as I go through it, um, but it does mean that nothing else is probably going to get finished in the meantime. Um, I've got two other quilts that I've entered as well. They have a new category, which is just for show. So I've got two quilts that are good to go for that. I just need to put hanging sleeves on the back um, and they're, they're ready to go in. Yeah, what was I thinking? What was I, oh gosh, I need to stop doing things like this. <laughs> but anyway, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. So yeah, best get cracking with that. So um, I will I will jump on hopefully over the next couple of weeks to say hello, but I shall be busy doing that. Thank you so much if you're a new subscriber. Thank you so much if you've if you've left a comment. It's really nice. I get very excited when I open up my inbox to see that I've got a comment. So thank you to everybody who's left me a comment. It's lovely. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care. And I'll see you over the next couple of weeks, maybe. Thanks very much.
Bye.